What you are doing, Major Sass? Well, I've had a lot of runners from last year's strawberries. I was thinning them out. So I dug some up, some of the better ones, the strongest ones, and now I'm repotting them, giving them the best chance that they've got in some lovely compost. They have flowers on them? Yeah, they're flowering, and God willing they'll stay that way. So that's one done. Lovely. On to the next one. Um, there's another one. So what I do, there's a little runner there, I just break it off, take a little part, I just put a little bit, mix these two together there. So what I do, put a little bit in the bottom, then I put the plant in, and then I just... I see the little, little flowers. Yeah, oh, little flowers. they're good. There's a little strawberry on that one. Mm. And then, they're strong, so I kept the strong ones. Just press it down a bit to give the plant stability. And then what I'll do is just water these with a little bit of flowering mm -hmm. um, fertiliser in there. That just help to shift the flowers along a bit. And when they're a bit stronger, a bit bigger, then I will plant them in the um, proper bed, in the open flower bed. Yeah. There's another one. No, as good as anything that you can buy in the shop, that's what the shops do. Yeah, that's, that's also the compost from the council you got, huh? Yes, this Brilliant. is. Here's another one. It's tangled, it's got the old trailers on. So what we do, we just pull them off. Pull them off. Just get a bit tough with them, it's not going to harm them. You don't want these. They can, you know, these are the best of the trailers. Get another little pot. And then that's all you do. That's what you do. Just keep try and keep it upright and like I said, um, put enough compost in, press it down. See now it's stable, it's nice and sort of stable. They're in flower. I cannot yeah. believe these were the last year's runners. These is just thinning out. This is three plants. Yeah three they were just growing free. Some of them I've actually dug up out because we own them in a raised bed. So I dug them out of the ground where they go underneath the raised beds on the runners. And uh, the runners go underneath the beds and then I found all these little flowers and I thought mm. my goodness there's some lovely little strawberry plants. Don't have to go and buy any. So here's another one. This is the sort of thing. Um, here's a big one. Again, uh, you know, this uh, just get the old debris off, the old dead leaves and that. And same again. And you know, you can see from the 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 video that these are good quality. You would pay good money if you bought them from a shop. Yeah, they look healthy. Strawberries are resilient. They've been growing in um, in forests and wild for centuries. You know, for if not millennia, they've been growing as long as well. <laughs> mankind's been around. We had the little wild strawberries, and then they were cultivated. So they're very resilient. They've Managed through a couple of ice ages and they still grow. Thank you.